The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a very brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. There's only one place to enjoy the action and it's right here with us on EA TV. Hello from one of the most southerly points on the English map. We have travelled to the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Bournemouth versus Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Can he finish? Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. Well, he knows that was a big chance to take the lead there. They've just got to keep plugging away. Well, here's the table, and it's clear to see why there's been so much disappointment amongst the Arsenal fans. They have been playing below expectations, you've got to say. Well, things just don't now seem... Now, hold right. on, Stuart. They're in here. A magnificent stop. Well, it should be a goal, but take nothing away from the keeper. That's a brilliant save. And over from Ericsson. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. One nil then. Fevre. Options in the centre. Decides to shoot and taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. On to Juan Bissaka. Mount. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And space here on the flank. It needs an accurate cross. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Throw in to Manchester United. Christian Eriksen now. This is Varane. Well, they're a bit like a passing machine, and you can understand why they want to play it that way in front as they are. Raphael Varane. Harry Maguire now. Here's Juan Bissaka. This is Varane, Maguire. <laughs> Rafael Varane. <laughs> Harry Maguire now.
Eriksen lost possession. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. Can he play it in? Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And couldn't quite square the game. Close. Well, it's certainly a decent effort, but not quite good enough. They still trail here. Rafael Varan. Almost at half time, it's going the way of the visitors as things stand. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. Lewis Cook. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Semenyo. Magnificent defending. Mount. Anthony. Christian Eriksen that. And the ball in behind the defenders. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Adams. Max Ahrens. And here now is Lewis Cook. Tyler Adams. Ahrens. Well, they're behind, but they might be onto something here. Can they open things up? And tidy defensive play. And there it is, the referee's whistle, half-time here at the Vitality Stadium. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Oh, nice ball over the top. And they got into that crossing position but dealt with defensively. On to Juan Bissaka. United could get in behind the defence. Anthony Martial waiting to pounce. A goal that is out of this world. I don't think anyone expected that, not least the goalkeeper. And I have a feeling we'll be seeing that time and time again. Incredible. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Traore. Marcondes. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Bournemouth facing Fulham. And the textbook interception.
opportunity here. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, catching it sweetly, but not quite the accuracy he was looking for. Well, it's always a difficult technique on the volley, but I think that's a massive chance he should score from. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen. Not the most confident clearance. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. On they go again, and United beginning to run away with this. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, a change to the scoreline in the Chelsea game. Let's get the news from Alex. It's a goal for West Ham. The shot was ferocious and it went in off the woodwork. They're ahead by two now with 61 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Good work from Bournemouth to win it back. Tyler Adams. Clivet. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, here's one to look forward to with us here on EA TV in the Champions League. The round of 16 first leg live. It's Manchester United facing Inter. Well, first legs can be negative affairs, but I don't think that will be. Both sides will be desperate for a lead going into that second leg. And teammates around him. Eriksson. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Traore. Real chance. Oh, fine stop. Firing it towards goal. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Ten minutes to go. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get but It's a poor tackle, really. Now, who can he play it to? Opportunity it is. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping.
Well, as we approach full time in this one, Stuart, no escaping the conclusion that United are bossing this. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. And up for grabs off the keeper. He's having quite the game for himself. Save after save after save. Martial. Christian Eriksen now. Anthony. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Fevre. Traore. Really good challenge. Mount. He's just got to continue his run. Reflex action par excellence from Bernd Leno. Who can he pick out? And there it is, the final whistle. A result to please Manchester United fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, Anthony Martial caught the eye, as he's well capable of doing. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?